Woman, won't you find your voice? Oh, oh woman, won't you find your soul? Woman, won't you find your voice? Oh, oh woman, won't you find your soul? Uh, I come from a family of very strong women um, but I also watched what this meant to them personally um, in terms of their health, in terms of their uh, you know um, ability to do what it was that they wanted to do um, <clears throat> but I was also very encouraged by them to always strive to be what I want to be and not to give in uh, simply because I was a woman. I, I heard that message around me all the time and so I think that consciousness was, was you know etched into my mind since I was a little girl. I had a grandmother who never went to school but who always fought for the right for her children and grandchildren. She'd always tell me you must go to school you must uh, study hard and you must become a, an independent woman so that you don't have to put up with what we have had to put up in our lives. So I think that message has been etched in my mind, although they never said the word feminist, they never said women's rights, they never said equality, but I later on when I formally joined the movement in the 90s, I realized that this was where this inspiration came from. Okay. We could be forgiven for thinking that African women have made no contribution. Uh, because if we look at our historical narratives, that's very much how they frame uh, the various freedom struggles. Huh? So for example, independence struggles. Uh, it struggles for liberation in countries like South Africa, Mozambique and all of these countries. When I read about them, I didn't see what the contribution of women was. And I thought, this can't be right. Um, women must have contributed something. And in, try and in, so in joining the feminist movement, this is where I learned precisely how women have contributed. For, for our struggles, first for independence, for economic autonomy as a continent, um, for politics that is a lot more inclusive, that recognizes difference, and for a state that has a place for all citizens, regardless of their of their um, regardless of their diversity. Women have played a part, they have sacrificed with their lives, they have sacrificed with their time, with their creativity, with their money. Um, they have organized into various cooperatives at local and national, even at regional levels. There is such a rich tradition of women contributing, always contributing, always cleaning up the mess and getting very little recognition, both in terms of you know, formal recognition of it, getting very few resources allocated to them once those struggles have been overcome. The African um, feminism is a multi, you know, layered, I suppose, um, <coughs> movement. It is a movement first to assert the rights of African women uh, to be and to choose and to do as they want on that level. It becomes a multi-layered movement in the sense that we are not just addressing the issue of gender equality. We are, have, we are dealing with a, a struggle, if you like, that has many aspects of what we would call oppression on the basis of race on the basis of class, on the basis of sexual 
orientation on the basis of sexual identity, uh, religion, ethnicity, all of these. And it's about unpacking what all of these mean in terms of our lived experiences and in terms of our abilities to make the choices that we want um, in our lives uh, um, and you know, in the world around us. Yeah. Um, I'm excited by the way that young people are organizing for social justice. I'm excited about the way that um, there are certain things that we don't have to explain to young people anymore. Um, <clears throat> I remember being in a room where it was totally unacceptable or even almost a, 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 a I would say a, a stigmatized thing to say you were a lesbian, even, I am ashamed to say, in a space of some women's movements. Um, it wasn't safe to say it. Um, today, I see that there are certain places we have created for ourselves where it is not a shock um, and it's actually a welcome thing because we want to hear as many perspectives, we want to hear as many viewpoints, we want to hear as many ideas as possible in order that we can shape a way forward that meets all our needs. I think um, generally as women who have struggled for women's rights, we haven't necessarily understood uh, what is called the economy, political economy, and how those issues intersect to either advance or to um, push back on some of the th issues that we wish to engage. And I think more and more we're going to have to become more savvy at understanding the economic landscape in Africa and internationally, and how that impacts on the issues that we seek um, to put forward. Um, <clears throat> I think um, the issues around uh, resources and raising resources for our own movements, that's still a conversation we need to keep having um, and see how we can make the reality around raising resources from amongst our own movements to, 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 to run the movements that we want to see in ways that are truly autonom or autonomous and meet our needs is an ongoing conversation. Those are some of the things. There are many others, but I think those are some of the main things. Sojourner Truth, um, writers like Maria Mabba, uh, Bessie Head, um, Angela Davis, uh, the late Wangari Mathai. Uh, there are, uh, they don't all have to be ancestors, do no. they? They can be living, they can be living uh, legends. Of course, I, I truly admire many of the sisters in this space, Bisia Dele Faemi, uh, Sylvia Tamale, Aisha Imam, Jessica Horn, you know, many who are younger than I am, many who are older than I am. I just feel generally energized when I'm around, uh, when I'm around these women. And also my mother, my grandmother, uh, my aunts who have really nurtured me and inspired me um, and encouraged me never ever ever um, given me cause to doubt myself on the basis of being a woman. And a woman find your soul And don't let them tell you that this isn't yours Cause you are yours, your voice, your power, your soul Baby, don't let them tell you that this isn't yours Cause you are yours, your voice, your power, your soul Your voice, your power, your soul Your soul, your voice, your power, your soul Oh, oh woman, won't you find your voice? 
Dead woman, won't you find your soul? Cause this is yours, oh baby. Who are yours? Your voice, your power, your soul. Your voice, your power, your soul.